Today's vlog is gonna be short, sweet, and real because today I'm gonna to talk about things that I am grateful for. Hey, what's up guys? So it's a beautiful day outside. I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna go do some chores around the house. Nothing really new to you guys. Uh, so I figured I would just kind of talk to you guys now and then probably turn the camera off for the rest of the day so I can just put some headphones on and think about things that I love and things that I want to do and, and just kind of, you know, have a me day today. So yes, uh, and also I encourage you guys uh, down below in the comments to leave uh, comments about things that you are grateful for and also reply to other people's comments because you might make friends that way. You'd be surprised how many people in the comments make friends and then subscribe to each other and then get to know each other. There's a lot of people out there. So uh, anyways, things that I am grateful for. Number one, number one, the obvious one, I am so, 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 so grateful for Kristen. Like, oh my God, she's an amazing person. Like, she's awesome for the fact that she keeps me humble. She's awesome because she's just awesome. She's a heater, like I said, she always keeps me warm. Uh, she cooks like nobody's business. Holy crap, her food is so good. Like, she made me five full out meals before she left, like spent all night just making these meals for me and I like just have to take them out, thaw them and then reheat them and oh my God. She made this chicken tamale pie that was freaking phenomenal. Can you tell I like food? <laughs> but she's just such a good person and oh my God, I love her so much. Uh, another thing I'm grateful for, I am grateful for my friends over at Knox Pro Academy, the wrestling academy that I attended. And honestly, I wish I could have just been there more. I, I, on, I don't feel like I got a chance to really train as much as I wanted to because I was going through some really strange times in my life and it kind of prevented me from really going and being in the right state of mind to be able to do it. And, uh, you know, every time I was there, I just felt like they, they treated me like family. They treated me like a person. They, they made me feel important. And it was so good. They were like the, the light at the end of the tunnel for me, just kind of reminding me that good is still in the world. Not that I was going through a horrible, horrible, horrible time in my life, but I was definitely going through a time that was really difficult. So I'm grateful to have a family over at Knox Pro Academy because they are amazing. My wrestling family, mm, props. Uh, also, I am very grateful for my family because, oh my God, I love my family. Like, I'm so glad I got to see him on Thanksgiving. It was so good, like everybody. I wanna name everybody, but I'm just gonna say everybody because I miss them all and I love them all so much. And the kids, of course, ah, love, love the kids. I'm such a kids person. I'm not around them enough. Um, also, I am grateful for the fact that I get to experience this amazing place, like this house, this, this place, Alaska. This is freaking phenomenal. And it's like ever since I moved here, I mean, that was the best decision of my life coming here with Kristen. Like, let's let's make that clear by the way too. I wasn't originally planning on coming here. Kristen was the one that had like work out here. So uh, we just kind of had the talk and, and she was like, you know, it'd be nice if you came out with me. I said, you know what, why not? Okay, why not, let's go do it. And I left the 805 and here we are. And oh my God, dude, I'm just, I love this place so much. All these things I get to experience, it's all brand new. And I love the cold. Everything I'm going to complain about the cold. Dude, it's like 14 degrees outside. I love it. I was walking around in my new boots. Finally got snow boots. Super awesome. So I am grateful for this place and all the experiences. And I'm grateful that this place has accepted me as well. Accepted us. And I just, ah, oh, it's awesome. What else am I grateful for? I, oh, I am grateful for this amazing coffee. <laughs> this is my first cup, by the way. Dude, Kristen found like the best coffee. Uh, Kristen... Leave a comment down below and tell everybody what coffee this is because they deserve a shout out. This is damn good stuff. And I am not a coffee drinker by any means. Oh, good stuff. I actually didn't know how to make coffee. Kristen taught me how to make it. So yeah, it sounds kind of dumb, right? Man doesn't know how to make coffee. I was an energy drinks guy. I'm kind of slowly pulling myself off of them again. <laughs> Dude, I've tried to pull myself off energy drinks so many times, it's been so hard. Um, other things I'm grateful for. I am grateful for the fact that I didn't pour flour into the coffee maker because I almost did that instead of uh, sugar. Well, not coffee maker, I'm sorry, this. I almost put flour in my coffee and that would have been interesting. That probably would have tasted really doughy. Like, what happens? Does it just float to the top? I would think because they did that old, like, you know, finger trick when you were a kid. You put the, the flour on top of the water and you put your finger in there and you pull your finger out and your fingers dry. Yeah, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for everything, all the little tiny things. I'm grateful that um, this Dude Like Hella is still going. 
I'm grateful that I'm still able to do what I love to do for a living, which is make videos and, and to, uh, to share my life and to entertain people and more than anything, inspire people to um, be better themselves, to, to not be better, but to be the best that they can be within them. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not ever trying to make anybody feel like they're any less because everybody is special in their own unique ways. I'm grateful to be happy. Number one, that should have been the first thing I said. I'm grateful to be happy. I'm always excited. I was telling Kristen, I'm like, I'm such an excited person all the time. People just expect, expect me to be excited. Well, yeah, it's because I am. <laughs> I just always am. And that is because of the fact that I'm happy. I figure like when you're happy, you just get excited because every day is so new and amazing. Oh, speaking of that, uh, one thing I'm not grateful for, I guess I'm kind of grateful for it. Uh, I'm not grateful for the fact that I haven't been able to sleep in. Last night I said, okay, I'm sleeping in, I'm doing it, I'm gonna wake up at like nine and I'm gonna feel great. Well, I didn't. I woke up at five. I woke up at five this morning. No reason. My brain's just like, get up, Corey, so much to do. There really wasn't much to do. I just woke up because I felt excited. I went outside, I was like, did it snow? No, nope, it didn't snow. Should I play video games? No, I don't play video games. I surfed around on YouTube for like hours and hours just watching a bunch of funny videos, but still excited about stuff. Everything is so friggin' exciting. What else am I excited about? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm thankful that Kristen's humming, coming home tomorrow. <sighs> Thank God, I am so, like I love being here, you know, uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna say I love being here alone because I'm, I'm not alone, I got the cats and Penny, but I, I, I feel like I, I just want her here. She's my heater, she's my love, she's the one that keeps me happy and just, I mean, I'm happy, but still, like, she keeps me really happy. I just, I say I, say I love her a lot. Mm. I am also grateful <clears throat> for this, um, this road that is cooking me right now. I am so friggin' hot, oh, because I'm drinking coffee. That's right, that's why I'm so hot. Okay, I'm, I'm more grateful for the coffee than this robe because now this robe is just too hot and I want to strip down. Uh, I, no, I'm not naked under this, by the way. I'm wearing, well, I've got <laughs> chest hair. That's not nakedness, that's hair. Um, I'm grateful that I can grow a full beard. And yes, that is going to happen. Uh, I am also grateful for my friend David who came and helped me yesterday with the lights because I probably would have died. It's noon. <laughs> Penny's got an automatic dog feeder. Oh, grateful for that. That's awesome. Dude, if you have a dog that has like an eating problem, get an automatic feeder because that thing is great. Um, but yeah, I'm grateful for a lot, but I, I know I would go on for ages and ages about what I'm grateful for. So now leave a comment down below and tell me what you are grateful for and uh, reply to other people and make more friends and you will, be ha you will have more to be grateful for. Hmm. So anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and say goodbye. Like I said, I know this was short and I apologize, but hey, at least I'm doing it. I just want a day to myself today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.